Alright guys, I got a fun video for you today. I'm going to be showing you right here. This is on my Droid Bionic, Motorola Droid Bionic. And I'm going to show you how to put KitKat on it, slash CM11. Big thanks to D-Hacker for going ahead and making this round for you guys. This is absolutely awesome. Runs really, really smoothly. So what you're going to do, let me go ahead and uh, go through it, is obviously you have to have root access. You have to have a safe strap installed. And I'm going to say recommend that you have safe strap uh, a new version here, which is 3.65 version of safe strap. Make sure you have that version installed. It's going to be very helpful to make sure this runs correctly um, because obviously it's going to be like a Kexic ROM and all that kind of goodies. Go ahead and download the files you need. So I'm just going to show you where mine are at. I'm going to go to storage. I think it's under SD card 2. Yep, and then I'm going to go to ROMs is where I have mine. And you can see right there, there is CM11 and the KitKat Google applications. I'll give you links to all that. And then there's my new SafeStrap app. If you want to install the, safe, the new SafeStrap and update if you're on an older version, uh, all you got to do is boot into your stock system. Go ahead and click on this new SafeStrap app you're installing. Go ahead and install it. Once it's done installing, so you can do it here and it would say install. Um, but once it's done installing, all you got to do is go into Safe Strap. And right up here it'll say there's an old version installed. And you just hit the install button in the new app. It'll install it and, and you'll be done. It's really pretty simple to use. So you have the, uh, the ROM and the Google applications downloaded. All you got to do from here is go ahead and reboot to recovery. Now if you guys haven't used... Safe strap before, don't understand root or don't understand any of this stuff I'm talking about right here. Go ahead and check out my YouTube channel, um, YouTube channel or rootjunkie.com, and it will show you all the information you're going to need to know about how to set that stuff up. Uh, I've got videos on all of it. So I'm going to kind of, more advanced people probably is what I'm kind of showing here. Um, but if you don't have safe strap, you don't have root access, those are your two prerequisites. Um, before you install this. So we're going to go ahead and go to boot options. I'm going to click on a ROM slot that I already have activated. Go ahead and activate it. Right there you can see I already named it CM11. It's really important you have good battery life. Uh, always, uh, just like I said before, it's, it's just always important to do that. You don't want this thing to shut off in the middle of flashing something. So we're activated on the ROM slot. ROM slot 1. We're going to back out. It's in green. Go to wipes. Wipe across. Wait for it to finish. It's doing a factor reset on that ROM slot. Obviously not on your stock system or anything like that. You do not want to do that. That's kind of the point of safe strap that you don't have to mess with your stock ROM slot. And if there's a problem, you can always go back to it. So we'll back out. Come on, we'll go to home then. Back out. There it goes. Go to installs. Uh, I'm going to go to my external SD card. Hit OK. Go to ROMs. Pick CM, make sure it's listed, add, pick the Google applications that are KitKat Google applications, and swipe across to install. So that's pretty simple. This install is going to take about a mm, minute and a half, I would say, to install the ROM and the Google applications. They're not really big files. I think they're both around 200 megabytes, just under, I think, a little bit. Um, so it's not really too much to install there. If you wanted to use this as your main slot, you might want to add, you know, make sure your slot partition for data was pretty good size, 2 gigs or something like that. This is going to be installing on a 1 gig data slot size. Um, that's what I had it set up for on ROM slot 1. So let's install and we'll come back to it. Alright, there it is. We're all finished. So you can go back and look at the safe strap and do other menus, but we are done with everything. Just go ahead and do reboot system. And we're going to go ahead and let this thing boot up. Now, I want to see if SciGenMod11 has a new boot animation. If you guys know me at all, I love watching the boot animations. I don't know why. I think it's interesting to see what developers put on there, SciGenMod specifically. So you can see SafeStrap is enabled right there. So that's a good sign. This first boot up is probably going to take... Um, hmm, 
probably six minutes or so for, to, for the first boot. After that, it will boot much faster. And uh, just some pre-information for you guys to let you know about. Uh, the camera does function. I didn't have any issues with that when I was going through testing. Wi-Fi works. Um, everything that I saw was fully functioning on this ROM. You may find, you know, glitches and little problems. Obviously, this is unofficial. Oh, there it is. Check it out. Saijin mod. Oh, dude, I like that. That's really cool. Uh, just anytime you see something different is, is just always fun. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, you, your, your mileage may vary on this a little bit. But uh, it, is, it is what it is. Um, D-Hacker is just great for even doing this as much as he has on it. And it is pretty functional from what I'm seeing. So, there you go. I'm going to let this boot go through some settings. And we'll show you guys the ROM. Alright guys, I went ahead and went through the setup on this thing, and we're going to show you the ROM. So here we go. Good old KitKat slash CM11. Let me just go through some settings on it and show you what we got. It comes with Google Experience Launcher and another launcher. So I'm just going to show you what I mean by the two different launchers. You can go into settings, and this is something new with KitKat, is it has this home button, which is really nice. I absolutely love it. And you can have, right there is the Google Experience Launcher, it's selected. Or you can have this other launcher. Now, this is Launcher 3. I don't know what the difference is, honestly. I played with both of them, and they look to be the same to me. But, anyway. So, you have the launcher right there. So, we're on the Google Experience Launcher, which if you scroll this direction, once you turn on Google Now, Google Now will automatically always open right there. And you can get to all of your cards and all that kind of stuff when you scroll that direction on your home screens. Um, and then to add home screens, you just take an app and drag it, and then you drag it again, and you can keep. You see, you can keep adding home screens. So that's how that's that one function. Also, if you want to get to widgets, you hold down the screen, go to widgets, and then you can hold a widget and add it to a home screen. They're not in your app drawer in the Google Experience Launcher. You only have applications, so it's a little different right there. Just get used to that. It's a little funky. Uh, to turn on Google Now, you just come into here and go through a little bit of setup stuff in there that will turn on the Google Now features where you scroll over and you have Google Now on the side. Um, just show you the applications that this comes with. It does come with uh, Apollo, DSP Manager, uh, CM File Manager. This is uh, some settings right there. Google Settings over there. Terminal Emulator, if you want to use that. Torch and voice dial. Uh, the rest of them are pretty much stock you know, applications for your device, nothing too different. Uh, except for that the phone is the KitKat phone. So if you go into it, you can see it looks really different and if you push this you can dial or you can go to histories, missed calls, stats. Um, you got some little stuff in here for contacts. And the way um, the phone application works on KitKat is you try to use this for most everything. So you just hit it, you'd say the name that you want, like call Joe, and it'll try to come up with Joe and populate it in the top, and then you just click on it and you call him. So that's the way this new contact stuff works. And it does work pretty well if you have contacts in there. I don't have any in there right now. Also, you can even use it to say, like, you know, call Walmart at your local Walmart, and it'll just pop, find Google search, find the number, and call it. Really, really cool. Um, also, as you can see, because it's the Google Experience Launcher, it does have the um, OK Google settings. So, if I say it loud enough here, OK Google, what's the weather today? And you Today's can see. Today's forecast for Richland Park is 32 degrees with snow. And if you want to keep going from here and ask us something else, like OK Google, if I say it loud enough, OK Google. How old is Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis is 58 years old. So as you can see, that OK Google command actually goes ahead and starts the microphone to listen again without touching anything. Really, really cool, and it's doing it right now. Let's turn that off. Um, so you can see that's built into it, which is really awesome. Obviously, uh, you can get into settings, and you have all of your personalization settings right through here. Interface, which allows you to change your um, toggles and stuff. This stuff right here, and some other things, features in there. Themes, and you can apply your themes. A couple lock screen, screen things in there. And then down here, you have Super User built into it, obviously, because it's CM11. And you have performance controls, 
which has to do with processor tweaks and governors and that kind of stuff. If you've seen CM, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we're going to go to about phone really quick, show you right here, XT875, which is the Bionic uh, device, Motorola model number. You can see right there, we're on Android 4.4, and you can see the KitKat. You can see, ba-boom, Android 4.4, very, very awesome, back out of that. And down here, you can see that we're on build CM Targa and all of its information right there. Side Gemon 11, unofficial, all that goodies. Um, absolutely love it. You have KitKat on the Droid Bionic. Big huge shout out to D-Hacker for doing this and obviously SafeStrap and that's hash code. Awesome, awesome, both awesome developers for this device. Absolutely love it. Hope you guys like this little install and review of CM11 KitKat Android 4.4. As always, Root Junkie out.